Welcome back to my channel, Higher Mathematics, and really interesting exponential equation today, 2 to the x plus 4 to the x plus 8 to the x equal to 155. And how can you solve this? In this video, I'm going to fully explain you how can you solve this correctly and step by step. First of all, we have all the time different bases. We have 2, 4, 8, so it's not that good. We should create the same bases. How can you do this? 4 is the same as 2 square. Uh, 8 is the same as 2 cubed. So let's, let's rewrite this challenge. So we have right here our 2 to the x. Okay, so we have right here are the 2 to the x plus instead of 4 let's write so this is instead of 2 to the x this is instead of 4 to the x let's write 2 square and all raised to the power x and instead of this 8 to the x let's write 2 cube okay so 2 cube right here to the power x which is equal to 155 okay this is our first step we just rewrite this expression so this is to 8 uh, to cube to the 8 of the x okay so this is our expression right now and you we, do, we need to know about really interesting rule is someone called this rule of interchange so it looks like that if we have a to the power x if we raise this to the power y we can also write it as a to the power y raised to the power x so we can easily swap these powers outside or inside doesn't matter because of the product because this is equal to a to the power x times y and it is the same as a to the power y times x so because of this property because of this product and let's change position right here so let's change position of 2 and x and right here with 3 and x so let's do this so what do we have right now we have 2 to the x plus 2 to the x square yeah squared and plus 2 to the x we have we have cube which is equal to 100, 155. So this is our expression right now. And if we look closely, we have all the time the time expression. We have 2 to the x, we have 2 to the x, we have 2 to the x right here. So it's really great to work with uh, substitution, okay? So let's do this. For example, let's go with, um, so let our 2 to the x equal to, for example, let's go with t. Let's go with t. t is great, great variable. Okay, so 2 to the x equal to t. So what do we have right here? We have t. So we have right here we have t plus we have right here t square t square plus right here we have t cube equal to 155 okay so this is our expression after substitution and if you look closely this is our expression this is our cubic equation because if we change an order a little bit and bring this 155 from right to left as a result we have the next expression we have t cube plus t square plus t and minus 155 which is equal to zero this is our cubic equation and if you look closely how can you solve this there are a lot of approaches all students solve this question in their own way all the people have um, approach to the cubic equation but this is my approach first of all i see that t equal to 5 this is a great uh, solution for us because if you plug in if you plug in 5 right here it will be a correct a correct equation and right now i suggest you to um, use a really great trick right here so if you know that t equal to 5 is a solution to this challenge you can easily rewrite this expression in another way and then you can easily factor t minus 5 just look at it so right here we have t cube and instead of this t square let's write minus 5 t square but keep in mind that t is a solution to this challenge okay minus 5 t square and we need to find 6 t square okay this is absolutely the same expression so this is absolutely the same expression as t square but it's it helps us a lot this expression will help us a lot okay so minus 5 t square plus 6 t square and let's write this instead of this t let's write minus 30 t and plus 31 t 31 t this is absolutely the same the same t okay this is absolutely the same t as right here and of course minus 155 which is equal to zero okay so we have we have our challenge right now and if you look closely so let's look for example at this group or let's let's group first of all i, I want you to understand that let's group by pairs so right here we have t cube minus 5 t square okay this is our first group then plus 6 t square minus 30 t so plus 6 t square minus 30 t this is our second group right here and plus 31 t minus 155 okay okay and if you look closely okay first first group t cube t square we can easily factor t square so we have right here our t square in parentheses we have t minus t minus 5 okay t minus 5 plus right here we can easily factor 6t so plus 6t and if we factor it we have t minus 5 
third step plus right here we can do the factor 31 so plus 31 and inside parenthesis we have d minus 5 this is my approach this is up to you how can you how you prefer solve this cubic equation this is my approach and i want you to look at this uh, interpretation so we have t minus 5 right here we have t minus 5 right here we have t minus 5 right here so we can easily factor this t minus 5 okay so we have t minus 5 and inside parentheses we have t square plus 60 and plus 31 plus 31 and of course this is product equal to zero and right now it's really great moment because because we have a product equal to zero when product equal to zero then first parenthesis equal to zero so this parenthesis t square plus 60 plus 31 equal to zero okay first product equal to zero and let's find it real quick let's find our discriminant so discriminant equal to so what do we have right here we have b square minus 4ac everyone know about this abc i don't want to write this for abc because this is very basic we have b equal to six so we have six square minus four times a one times c 31 and if you subtract it we have 36 minus 124 which is obviously less than zero so we can easily say that right here we have no real solutions in this sec in this case no real solutions and obviously two complex root two complex roots because we can easily find our uh, solutions through the i right here because we have our t second and t third according to complex number theory we can easily find these two complex root let's go right here t minus 5 equal to zero so t minus 5 equal to zero T equal to 5 but uh, wh what about t where do we find it where can we find the substitution substitution right here 2 to the x equal to t so we have t equal to 5 then 2 to the x 2 to the x equal to 5 how can we solve this equation of course we're applying log on both sides so what do we have right here we have log 2 to the x equal to log 5 Okay, then x jump right here, the x comes down right here because this is the main log property. So as a result we have x log 2 equal to log equal to log 5. This is our solution, but with one really interesting moment, let's divide both sides by log 2. So we have x equal to log 5 over log 2. This is our solution to this. To this challenge of course we can rewrite it in another way according to log property but this is really great uh, solution also you can easily work with this with this solution which helps you a lot so this is my explanation to this challenge i hope you understand this explanation i hope you learned something new write your suggestion down in the comment section write your approach it's it's also really interesting how how you solve these challenges it's also really great to look at your solution so i hope you understand my explanation and i hope you learn something new this is my main goal on my youtube channel so with that being said see you in the next videos and have a great day